Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I want to show you an overview of the HOP2 control panel for Citrix. To do this, we need to open up the HOP2 control panel. So we click the start button down the bottom left hand corner, click on the down arrow, then open the HOP2 control panel. Once the HOP2 control panel opens, the first tab on the left hand side is a settings tab. This tab is HOP2 group policy settings. So there's various buttons here that you can tick or you know, turn on or turn off to enable different functions within HOP2. So we have enable HOP2 for all users, so we can tick this on and off you know, for users to either access it or not be able to access it. Um, enable documents from other apps to be open in HOP2, this can be turned off or on. Enable documents from HOP2 to be shared to other apps, this can be turned off or on. Enable access to SharePoint websites, so if you have a SharePoint in your organization, you know, you can tick this and select the URL link here and then click on add and it will be added to the right hand side here. And the last thing on this tab is enable access to cloud storage accounts. So you can enable all of the cloud storage accounts or you can you know, select which ones you want to use. And the various ones here are Dropbox, Google Drive, Copy, Ignite, Box and Microsoft OneDrive. The next tab in the HOP2 control panel is a configuration tab on the left hand side here. This tab is used to determine if this computer is ready to run HOP2 work. So to start, you just click on the start on the left hand corner here and it will go through various checks on your system. It will look at licensing to make sure there's a HOP2 license installed on this server. It will look at the Office version and make sure it's activated. So we support Office 2007, 2010 and 2013. It will also look to see if RDP is enabled and also look to see if the RDS roles and services are enabled. Once all these are enabled and working, you know, they have green ticks against them and you're ready you know, to use HOP2. The next tab in the HOP2 control panel is a licensing tab. So we click on the licenses tab here, then you have various different information from this tab. So the first thing, you know, is the licensing on this computer or is it on other computer? If you have a central HOP2 license server, then you click on other computer and you put in the IP address here and then hit test connection and then hit apply and that will then use the licenses of your central license server. If you're just using this machine as your license server then you leave it on this computer. As you can see here in the demo you know once you download the HOP2 agent from the HOP2 website you know automatically after installing it gives you 30 day trial and 15 users. So as you can see here you know my expiration date is the 23rd of March 2016 and I have 15 users available. If you have a permanent license, you need to add the activation code you're emailed by clicking on add here. Once you click on add, you paste in or type in your activation code, then you click on add and your activation permanent license will appear underneath this demo here. Once you've done that, you then need to add your users in this section. So it's on a per user basis, so here you would add in the usernames you want to use hop to work. So you would add in you know, an Active Directory user. Once you put the user in, you click on Add, and then you click on Apply. The next tab in the HOP2 control panel is a Citrix tab. From here you have two options. If you're installed on a Zen App delivery controller, then you need to select HOP2 Citrix server and click Login. You then need to fill in the server, the domain, the username, and the password, and then click OK. It will now authenticate with your Citrix Zen App delivery controller and now you'll see the published applications from all your VDA machines or virtual delivery agents. If you're just installing the HOP2 agent on a VDA machine or the virtual delivery agent then you need, just need to click on HOP2 Citrix host and put in the name of that server. The next tab I want to show you is the Max Editor tab. This is used to customize the Max Control toolbar when using HOP2 Work for Citrix application on your mobile device. As you can see here in my demo I have three applications published. I have Calculator Notepad and QuickBits Pro 2015. So to edit the QuickBits Pro 2015 toolbar I just click on the edit toolbar on the bottom left here and now you can see a blank template for this application. So now using a Max Editor we can now add menu items or buttons for the QuickBits Pro 2015 application. So I'll just show you a few buttons and menu items we can add just to show you how you do this. So first of all if I click on add menu here we can type in a menu item. So if we create the label as general and then click on add. 
Now you can see a new menu item created you know, for your max control on your mobile device. So under general, let's create a few buttons. So if I click on add button, you know, we can call label, save transaction. Then we just put the short key in for that button. So in QuickBooks Pro, save transaction is Alt S. So if I click Alt S on my keyboard, and then click on add. Now you can see the button is added underneath the general menu item. Let's just create another button. So we click on general and click on add button. I'm going to call the label save and next. And then with the shortcut for save and next is all 10. Then we click on add. You can do three levels of menus with buttons underneath. Once you finish with Max Editor to create your Max Control toolbar for QuickBooks Pro 2015 in this example, it should look something similar to this with all your menu items and your buttons added here. Once this is finished, you just click on apply. To get back to the list of your remote apps, you just click on remote app list here. And then if you have another application you want to do the same thing for to create the Max Control toolbar, you know, using the Max Editor, you just select on the next application and then you select on edit toolbar. Once you've used the Max Editor to create these Max Control toolbars, it then creates a template file on the Citrix server. You can then move this template to any Citrix environment so you don't have to do this again. This Citrix template is located in the following directory. So you open Windows Explorer, go to C Drive, go to Program Data, go to Hop2, and go to Remote App Settings. And then you will see the .dat file here. And in here is those menu items and buttons that you added using the Max Editor. The next tab from the Hop2 Control Panel is the Support tab. This is used if you have an issue with you know, connecting from your mobile device to the Hop2 or Citrix server, or if you have an issue you know, on the back end here. So all you would do is fill out your name, your email, you know, copy in, if you want to copy in someone to the email, the subject, and a description of the issue that you're having. Then you just click Submit at the bottom, and this will create a new case in our system where we get back to you as soon as we can. The last tab on the Hop2 control panel is the About tab. This gives you various information regarding the version of the Hop2 agent you're running on the Citrix server, also tells you how many days remaining on your Hop2 work trial, and also there's a new version of the Hop2 work agent available, and you can click on update here at the bottom, and it will go off and look for an updated version if there's one available. If there is, you know, it will in download, install, and then you'll be on the most recent version. The last thing I want to show you is that just how to access the support knowledge base from our website. So if you go to hop2.com, scroll to the very bottom, and click on the support tab here. From here you'll see our knowledge base, if we scroll down a little bit, you know, we have various documentation for Hop2 work for Citrix here, which you can read, which will give you more information. Also, if you need to open you know, a support ticket from here, you can just email help at hop2.com or just search our knowledge base. Thank you for your time and hope the video was informative.